Hi, I'm Mark Muir, GeorgiaIrishDiscogs.com. Today I'm going to talk to you about the behind the back throw. Um, very simple. Once you understand it, a couple of techniques. If you if you don't complete the throw or you pull out of it too early, the throw will go astray. There's some other little key points you need to think about when you're throwing the behind the back throw. Pretty cute. Pretty neat little throw. So, I basically use a standard backhand grip. Y'all know. Use it on a lot of things. Pretty simple. But, when you throw this throw, I'm right handed. A lot of times you see people just try to throw it this way. How, I, how, I, how it works for me, and it might work, other, might work another way for you, and somebody else might be able to teach you another cool way to do it. So, open up your doors. For open-minded, learning different ways to do this. Remember, first and foremost, it's about having fun with your dog. Fun, fun, fun. That's what it's all about, this sport. So, I take standard backhand grip. Say I'm throwing to you, looking back at the camera. I step forward. If I'm throwing my right, I go behind my back. I step forward my left. And I swing my hips forward to give me a slot to throw in. A lot of times people come through and not have the proper hyzer. You still have to have proper hyzer. <laughs> what? Hyzer being the proper angle of the disc and everything. You have to learn what hyzer for the wind conditions. But normally your hyzer is going to be down just a little bit depending on the type of disc you're using, depending on the wind. You just got to get out there and practice. But step forward. A little bit, to my left hip, kind of facing the target I'm throwing, and I throw, I release. I let the side, the side of me cause a release. Boom, it's released. Boom, it's released. That's how it's released. Hey, little girl. So, I step forward, like that. Left leg forward, and I release. Release. It takes a lot of torque. It's a lot, it, it, it can sometimes if you throw a lot, if you throw a lot of them, your shoulder can get a little sore. So you need to really work on form. Isaac, you, know, you need to think that pop, that pop, that pop off your back. When you throw it, you can throw them pretty far. Pretty far, you can throw them. But you got to practice. So, you can step up, watch out, you can step up, throw them that way, you can actually throw it below your butt level, like that, you can also jazz it up in your routine, but you got to make sure if you're going to do a little twist at the end, you got to finish the throw before you make the turn. So, you step forward, throw, turn. But you'll learn how to do it quicker. You'll be like, "Woo!" You can dress up your throws that way. Hey, hey, thank you. So uh, that's your behind the back throw. Step forward. Just remember your left hand to switch. Switch everything up. Right foot forward. Hyzer. Heck, I ain't ever tried. Let me try. <laughs> Accident. Beginner's luck. But. Down your back left handed. So a lot of times, and that just brought to mind, anything you do right handed, if you're right handed, try to teach yourself how to do it left handed. It kind of makes your, your routine flow better and most of the judges will be able to see it. You'll be, you'll be scored a little bit higher. So, here you go. Oh, look, look, look. Oh, thank you. So, that's your behind the back throw. Backhand grip, step forward, hips out of the way, find that slot, boom, look at your target, hyzer, pop, behind the back throw. It's going to take a little bit of practice, you'll increase your distance over time. It's a good around the, around the world move, if you're taking your dog short distances around you. So, uh, here you go. Sometimes, 
You can do different things. I'm going to tell you all to do. So, I'm Mark Muir from GeorgiaIrishDiscounts.com. Remember, our lives are short. Our dog's lives are shorter. You need to enjoy every moment. And first and foremost, you need to have fun with your dogs when you're playing. And at the same time, you need to be safe and keep your dogs safe. I'm Mark Muir. Thank you.